Y'all, I can't believe how nervous I am for this one. Hey Siri, take me to the Goodwill bins. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey babes, what is up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. What a different kind of video. I am so freaking nervous. You guys know me, I am an avid thrifter. Going to thrift stores, I've been doing it since I was like five years old. But if you guys don't know, I'm actually originally from Toronto. We only moved to Florida about two years ago. And ever since moving to America, I can't believe that I've still never done this before. But Haley, yeah, me, I have never gone thrifting in actual outlet bins. If you're not familiar with the concept, certain places like Goodwill actually have these outlets where I guess things from other stores come to. Things are dispersed into like huge bins and everybody kind of like ransacks through it. And I think everything is sold either by the pound or by the item. You end up getting stuff for super, super cheap. And I found some people making reels and TikToks finding incredible things. In Toronto, we never really had Goodwill bins, so I've never had an experience like this before. And today, it's gonna be my first. I really don't know what to expect, but after doing some research, I prepared for the worst. A lot of people said that these bin areas are packed with people and a lot of the times there's no carts. Obviously I want to try my best to go ahead and get some vlog footage of the whole experience but how am I gonna vlog and have a bag at the same time? Well my solution I'm gonna take advantage and take one of my kids strollers with me into the bins and then I'm gonna keep a disposable bag there and then hopefully the things that I find can just sit there and I can have my hands free. We've got a lot of hand sanitizer we got some gloves too because there could definitely be some questionable things in there and we got to stay safe so be sure to stick around after I find everything I'm definitely gonna be sure to take it on home give it a good cleaning and wash and reveal to you what it is that I found at the Goodwill bins. All right, let's do it. <laughs> this is where having a kid really comes in handy. All right, off the bat, you guys, I'm like starting to dig already. I have no idea what I can expect to find. What is this? Oh, this kind of looks cute. A little gingham dress with some flowers on it. I like that. <gasps> We've got this like really pretty little slip that I feel like would be such a good cami or even to wear under a sheer dress. It definitely, um, smells a little bit but the digging is actually not that bad it's actually not super busy right now and i think it's because it kind of came at not a peak time maybe a lot of people already like went through and looked through a lot of stuff but there's also a lot of stuff for kids here which i'm surprised these things will definitely go through at least two cycles though that's for sure got a little black dress over here this graphic colors i thought were kind of cool and then look at this little knitted bag for produce even that's adorable <gasps> Stop! This is the most precious skirt ever for Naomi. Oh my gosh. You guys, it's actually crazy. They literally have like non-clothing things mixed in with the clothing things. If you had like a more eclectic home, a rug like this could actually be so cool. Not so much my style though. It's like really hard to do this one-handed. I found these knit shorts that could be pretty cute. They look like they are high-waisted too. And then this one is actually Old Navy, but it's the old tag. Such a perfect pink cable knit. I just personally wouldn't buy sweaters at this point, so I'm gonna leave it. And I don't know if you could tell by all my sniffles, but it is so, I guess, dusty in here that my nose keeps running and I feel so congested. <laughs> This place is not great for my allergies, let's just say that. Okay, so this is what I'm noticing. Basically every, I wanna say 10, 15 minutes, they bring out some new cards and they just have them covered with like fabrics and stuff and then they tell everybody not to touch it until they say go and then everyone kind of digs through it. It's a little bit chaotic. Um, I can see literally that there's some people who I like to call lurkers that literally watch you stifle through things and then the things that you don't want, they'll take from you, if that makes sense. Okay, okay, the bins are coming out. See, everything comes covered in fabrics and then they tell everyone and it's like a first come first serve situation. Everyone's eager, waiting for one more bin. All right, let's dig. You guys know I was on the hunt for a new denim vest and this one looks like it would be perfect. I love all this like vintage details and the cross stitching and the buttons too are so cool. All right, you guys, this is actually something I'm realizing. I actually came right before the cutoff so I didn't even get a chance to thrift that much. But now everybody's throwing back the things that they don't want. So perfect opportunity to shop the things that people don't like and hopefully still find some good gems. Just found this like perfect muted baby pink t-shirt. Great to lounge around in. It's the Kith brand, which is usually so expensive. Like this is how much the t-shirts cost. You guys know I love my big Big, bold pink t-shirt but i really wanted a muted one and i love the pocket too oh my god you guys <gasps> this is a perfect cargo skirt it's literally called retro cut from the gap but it's a size two i feel like i need to pick this up and one of you will love this oh my god it's literally like the perfect color cargo denim skirt we've got this free people top i don't know how i feel about like the sleeveless part but you guys know that i love this like linen style fabric look at this dress it's so freaking adorable i love the lace color and then if this was smaller i would have definitely picked it up you know how much i'm loving navy right now but this one is a size large wool navy sweater vest 
Again, if it was smaller, then definitely. Oh, we've got a pink polo shirt. You could even see the price that it was at Goodwill. Polos just don't look good on me ever. But I know that some people can really rock this look. Okay, I did some digging. Here's a couple more finds. I thought this knitted top was so cute, but it is a size large, so I have to check it out. Then I also found this tiered green dress in the muslin fabric that I love. And then for Naomi, I found so many cute little pieces. We have this little dress that comes with the bottoms. The sweet cherry onesie. Some printed pants. Look at this tiny little Ralph Lauren dress overalls. And then I love so much knitted cardigans like this for Aaliyah. We're getting full, you guys. Getting full. I know you guys are also into like the tie-up knit cardigans. I found this one. I don't know how I feel about the sleeves, but the crocheting on this is so pretty. I keep sniffling. The old girl is tired. This is definitely not for the lazy. You've got to sweat. You've got to dig. And that's the thing. You guys know that I love thrifting for aesthetics because I love knowing what I'm looking for. But here I'm like just looking at something. And I'm like, can I make this work? Can I not? Something I do want you to keep in mind. Just because something is cheap, it doesn't necessarily mean that you got to buy a ton of it. As much as everything here is super affordable because I'm literally paying $1.25 for a pound, I'm really only going to be taking home things that I really love and I really want. Because say it with me, just because something's cheap doesn't mean we have to buy it. But it's been a little bit over an hour and this right here is gonna be my last stretch they're bringing out the bins one final time before they're doing the cutoff break and after this one I'm heading home and taking a much needed everything shower I'm going through all of my buys and I think I'm gonna leave this cool little graphic behind because it's got a stain here that doesn't look like it's going to come off but so far we got a good amount of stuff and I still have a few more to get through okay so I just found this Zara what is it called when it's like an overall but a one piece definitely pretty cool I already know here in Florida I'm gonna sweat buckets wearing this and just because it's made of denim it's super heavy so it's gonna make my bag weigh a lot more so I think I'm actually gonna leave it behind but still so cool that I found an entire outfit like this here okay about to check out we're at eight pounds dang that's crazy come on baby let's go home I'm not gonna lie I'm so glad to be out of there this was an experience I can't wait to tell you guys all about it and show you everything that I got here and just how much I paid for it because the price is insane back home babes it's been a couple days later and let me tell you this sometimes after a regular thrift store I don't mind trying things on right away because honestly the thrift store I usually go to is pretty clean the goodwill bins the gloves necessary sanitizer definitely some smells were definitely questionable at some point I was asking myself Haley is this really worth it well I'm gonna let you guys be the judge of that because I got 21 items over here for just $16.86 yes 21 items for just under $17 that means every single one of these were under a buck I, I can't do this kind of math on my own 80 cents let's do it okay yes I'm sitting down because I'm gonna go through every single one of these pieces but then I'm actually gonna cut back to my typical Haley talking through and styling them too but some of them I just have to show you this way this was the first item that I actually found on this trip I love these as perfect reusable bags if you're going produce shopping Trader Joe's farmers market to put like lemons oranges in this even to take a cute photo it looks adorable so that was really cool to find we've got this dress over here that doesn't have a tag so I have no idea where it's from but it's actually a tiered dress in a muslin fabric that's got some tie-up details here in the back okay here we have the first little outfit you guys this dress is absolutely adorable okay but here's the thing when it comes to shopping at goodwill you have no idea what things are gonna look like on honestly you don't even really get a chance to take a look at things so much because everyone is just digging through stuff and you really want to like take up space there so whatever you see that you kind of like you just shove it in your bag right away so that being said definitely this dress is probably one size too small for me because I feel like right here it's a little bit tighter than I would like. I also need to iron down these little ruffles because they keep sticking out. But overall, I love this dress so much. When I first saw it, I definitely thought that it was going to be a bit of a shorter dress instead of one that goes to my knees. But that's why I paired it with some heels to kind of make up for the fact that my legs tend to look a little bit shorter whenever I'm wearing a dress like this. Added the little straw bag to complete the earthy colors. It's so lightweight and breezy. Such a good fabric to wear for spring and summer. So keep an eye out for it. Okay, next up, probably one of the pieces that was the most expensive item to find when it really just cost me 80 cents is this kid a t-shirt and I literally went on Google when I got home and I saw that this t-shirt right now is going for $80 it's literally in perfect condition it's got the cute pocket detail but what pulled me to it is not necessarily the brand just the fact that it was a larger size a powder pink t-shirt you've already seen me style and wear my big bright pink t-shirt which I love so much but I did want a more muted down one so I picked this one up and I actually decided to make an outfit out of it pairing it with these lounge shorts no brand either it just says it's a size small I 
personally wouldn't necessarily style shorts like these because it's a little bit too short for my liking, but in a loungewear outfit, it could definitely work. And here's how. Okay, this next one is like a super fun take on how you can make a really casual outfit a little bit more fun. I love the little pocket detail and the fact that it's pastel pink too. You guys know that now I like to dress up a little bit more when I'm going out, but when it comes to like chilling at home, doing stuff with my girls, I'm always just wearing a big t-shirt, always. In my stories and my vlogs, you can see green and pink is one of my favorite color combinations right now. I mean, my entire room, we've got green and pink details. I just think that they complement each other so beautifully. That's why I feel like these tones just work so well together. And then to pull in a little bit more color, I went ahead and paired my Adidas Gazelles in this beautiful burgundy. But yeah, not much else to say. A really cute casual outfit for either chilling, lounging at home, heading to the beach, or just doing all those mom things. So when I saw these jeans at the bins, I just knew that I had to get them because they have the coolest pocket details. They're in a beautiful wash too, and I just felt guilty leaving them and knowing they're gonna go to waste. Okay, I have to say, these very much don't fit me and very much not my style anymore, but the bins were literally about to be rolled off and these would have ended up in a dumpster. That's the thing about the Goodwill bin. You were probably the last person to potentially be able to have these clothes. After that, I think they just go to waste. So I saw these cargo jeans and I literally thought that they were so cool. Not necessarily as much my style anymore because I'm not really into the street style vibe. They are a size 10. I'm usually a size six, but I'm literally just gonna go ahead and list it for like $8 so one of you guys can get it. And if you guys don't already, be sure to go ahead and follow my Poshmark closet down below. It's just Haley's Corner. So be sure to go ahead and follow me on there if you guys ever wanna shop anything I'm showing you. But the fit of this is actually pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if it was a little bit tighter in the waist and maybe it didn't have the pocket, then I would have loved them because I really, really love baggy jeans just like this, especially paired with like my Adidas. So if any of you watching want these, go ahead and follow my Poshmark down below. So I am a sucker when it comes to a 90s neckline as well as like a frilly trim. I love these details so much. So as soon as I saw this dress right over here, this is just a good summer basic to have. There's so many different ways to style it. But lately, being that I'm loving Western so much, I decided to pair it with the coolest find of this trip. A solid, good, perfect denim vest has been on my bucket list forever because on Pinterest, I have a ton of photos that I wanted to recreate. I can't believe that I found my perfect one, you guys. From the brand Gitano, 100% cotton. It's a size medium. And this pairing is beautiful. This with almost anything would look amazing. Next outfit, still going hardcore with the Western guys. I'm really loving it. What can I say? This dress right over here, I think is absolutely adorable. I paired it with some brown boots because I think brown and black just look ugh, amazing together. I will say, I wish the boots were like a little bit shorter because it would have been so much better if when I put the dress down, you can like see a little bit of leg. But then again, I like the taller boots. Maybe I'll just make the dress a little shorter because once some leg is peeking, it's like super cute. And then if you watch my Western dress with me, I got so lucky with finding like a ton of denim shirt vests, but I have put it on my bucket list to find the perfect actual denim vest and I can't believe that I found this at the Goodwill bins for literally what 60 cents look at how cool the details on this vest is other than the fact that the buttons are so sick I love the cross stitching with the brown thread and then even this like little patch the fact that it actually comes past my shoulder instead of here like everything about this I just love so much vests are just such an easy way to like layer and spice up any outfit in the summer I mean yes on its own this looks cute already but this really helps me cover up my shoulders and also adds like a really good style element to the outfit like oh it's just so good i love this i really want to make this outfit work so i want to ask you guys do you think i should go ahead and try to find boots that are brown like this but shorter or do you think that the dress could just use like a little bit of hemming and then these boots would be perfect i don't know leave me a comment down below you guys always give me the best advice i use sew on tape if you have no idea what i'm talking about i have an instagram reel about it but let me know do we try to thrift boots that are shorter or do we just hem the dress a little bit because i really want to do everything i can to make this outfit work so good okay i have a couple little pieces over here that i'm not gonna try on but i still wanted to show you because they're just either too small or not the most appropriate for me to try on first off i found this gorgeous beautiful slip no tag on this either i wonder if they actually take off the tags obviously as sleepwear this is so beautiful it's got the lace coming down to the bottom i am a sucker for lace i mean you could even see by this cardigan that i'm wearing lace details just make me so happy and i have seen a few people pairing dresses like this with like a longer sleeve shirt underneath and it still looks really good but again for 80 cents this was such an amazing find especially because the lace just looks so expensive similar to that i was able to find this one which honestly i don't even know if it's going to fit me maybe as like a little bralette underneath it can. Again, sucker for lace, especially the lace detail here in the top because it's just so thick. Not something I would wear on its own, but again, as like a layering piece underneath, or you know how sometimes I always thrift tops that are see-through and I never know what to pair under? So this could definitely be an option and it's got adjustable straps too, which is really great. And then this skirt, such a perfect 90s skirt, which 
makes sense because it literally says retro cut here from The Gap. Ugh, this cargo skirt, if only it came in my size, I would have been so happy. I'm gonna list this on my Poshmark as well because I think that one of you guys that maybe are a little bit smaller would really appreciate this cargo skirt. It's literally the perfect 90s mini. Okay, on to the kids items. I was so shocked at how many cute, adorable kids items I was able to find for both Aaliyah and Naomi and considering that it's under a dollar for each. Oh my gosh, if you're going purely for kid shopping, it is so worth it. I feel like a lot of these were donated literally brand new. Starting with one of the cutest finds that I got. Let's take a second to appreciate this beautiful powder blue outfit. Okay, organic cotton from the brand Little Planet by Carter's. This is for 18 months. It would literally fit Naomi right now. Perfect summer piece. Such pretty detailing on the front and look at the contrast of the blue with these beautiful brown buttons. Oh my god, she's gonna look adorable in this. Blue is definitely Naomi's color. Sticking to the whole knitted theme, I found this knitted sweater for her too. Sweaters like this are so cute to take little toddler, even little baby photos in. Here are just some examples, but they're just so cozy and cute. We are planning a Canada trip in the summer. As much as it does get hot there, the evenings and nights can still get a little bit chilly. So this one would be perfect for Naomi then. I just love the cable knit too. This, this looks like something that was really expensive to buy in store. Okay, from the brand Modern Moments by Gerber, I was able to find her a set. Like literally in two different bins, I was able to find this and this. This mousseline dress, like I told you, this is the same fabric as that green dress that you saw me try on. I love it so much for the summer because it's cotton, so it's breathable. It's so lightweight too. And of course, as much as I love to dress my girls up in colors, there's an aspect of me that still likes the whole sad beige baby. So we've got the dress with the matching little, what are they called, bloomers? This is literally something that was on my list to buy for her. Now that summer is coming up, we're gonna be spending a lot of time outside. It is the cutest little sun hat. I mean, not on me, obviously, but for baby girl, I love like the little pinstripe details. Very sporty and rich baby vibes. I was able to find Naomi a little Levi's jacket, which is really cool. Perfect for her to wear to daycare right now. This is obviously like not the stiff denim, but the regular denim, a little bit more comfortable for her to wear, which actually reminds me. Oh, the other day I went thrifting and whenever I thrift something, not in a vlog, I feel guilty not showing it to you guys. Cause I know you always want to see what my thrift finds are, but I have to show you this. I thrifted this Levi's jacket, but like genuine Levi's jacket with the orange tags. These are just so rare to find. I actually have a smaller one that used to fit Naomi, but now that she's grown out of it, I was so happy that I was able to find her a perfect bigger size Levi's jacket. It was like $2.99 too. Literally, absolutely perfect. Not something I found on this Goodwill trip, but come on, don't tell me you're not really happy that I just showed this, right? I also found a ton of like little pieces, like everyday pants and leggings for Naomi. This bodysuit I thought was absolutely adorable because it's got the little cherries and strawberry print on it. They don't use bibs in daycare, so Naomi is constantly getting her clothes dirty. So little bodysuits like this, you can't really get enough. They really come in handy to just have a ton of them because this self-feeding age is the age that they're getting a ton of their stuff dirty. Last thing I found for Naomi was just a pair of Zara pants that I thought were really cool. It's got the little asymmetrical hem and they actually feel like a corduroy pant, which I thought was really cool, but they're still really stretchy. They cuff at the bottom and they have a cute pocket detail in the back. Again, under a dollar, of course. And then for Aaliyah, I found only a couple items, but still wanted to share. This dress I think is absolutely so cute. It reminds me a lot of the cargo skirt that I thrifted. I'm telling you, if I was able to find one like this in my size, I would totally do a matching moment where I'd wear the skirt and Aaliyah would wear this dress. Can I find like an adult version of this please? From the brand Zoe. I mean, just look at how vintage that tag looks. I'm a sucker for cool tags and I absolutely love the floral details on the front. This literally feels like a perfect 90s dress. <laughs> if only I was able to find one like this for myself, that would have been so cool. But hey, that's what motherhood is for me. I'm like vicariously letting my children live out my dreams. I also found Aaliyah a little beanie. I feel like we're really like playing around with more accessories now. She's finally at an age where she's like happy to play around with more accessories. I thought this beanie would be really perfect to accessorize with some of her more sporty outfits. If you guys remember from this past surf trip, I found her these really cool pastel cargo pants and I think this beanie would pair perfect with them. And then finally, the last thing I found for her was this knitted cardigan. But it's literally like crochet. Look at this. So adorable. I love the blue color and I know that she'll love this too. With an all white outfit to pair this right on top. I really, really, really want my daughter's clothes for myself. <laughs> if you think I get a lot of joy thrifting things for myself, I get even more joy thrifting things for my kids. If you are a mom, comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Like there's nothing more relatable than this. I do this whole fashion thing as a job, but if I wasn't, most of the time I would probably be wearing, like I said, a, a big oversized t-shirt with biker 
shorts or leggings. I literally still own the same bras from like seven years ago. But yet when it comes to my kids, every time I see something cute that they may possibly wear, I just get it. And I know that she's gonna love this. That was my Goodwill bins experience. So looking back now with every single thing I showed you, 21 items for just under $17. What do you say? Was it worth it? For about two hours of looking, dealing with possible smells, gloves, people pushing you, digging through a bunch of questionable things, but yet being able to still find all of these treasures. Comment down below right now. Do you guys think that this is something that you would do? Do you find it worth it? Or would you rather pay more for each of your items, but go to a thrift store that's already clean and organized for you? I definitely think that it's something I would do again. And then the best thing that I did on this trip that I'm definitely gonna do again is to bring some kind of like caddy or stroller with you because being able to have like two free hands to dig instead of one holding a bag and one digging, just like ploop, a little reusable bag in there. But thank you guys so much for watching. This was definitely a different kind of thrift video, but I hope that you did enjoy it. If you are watching up to this point, then comment down below, braving the bins. Yes, because that's literally what I did. I braved it and I'm glad that I went because it was actually, I think pretty worth it. But be sure to comment it down below, braving for bins. You are a real one for sticking around till the end. And comment down below what other thrift videos and challenges you want me to do. But with that, thank you all so much for watching. I love you forever and always, and I cannot wait to see you in my next one. Love you.